Morning, everybody. Mr. Silvera here, principal of Joseph Case Junior High School with Backyard Enrichment video number eight. Coming to you today from the woods in my yard here in Swansea with our next edition of our Backyard Enrichment video. We start off with a shout out appreciation today like we do every day. Today happens to be World Autism Awareness Day. I'm dressed all in blue here today for the video and I would like to give our appreciation today to a Case High School history teacher and a girls basketball coach there at the high school, Mr. Dave Silva. I worked with Mr. Silva at the high school a number of years ago. He is a champion of autism awareness. You can give him a follow on Twitter at Case Hoops History. You find out lots of information and read more about autism awareness. I've been working with Mr. Silva recently on some teacher evaluation issues and I've known him for a long time. He lives in my neighborhood. Him, his wife, and his two boys often take a walk by the house here, so I see him getting in their exercise. Uh, we appreciate you, Mr. Silva. Thank you. All right, today is going to be kind of a rainy day. Uh, the next couple days are going to be rainy days. So I think this is a time uh, to do some things indoors. Help mom and dad once your schoolwork is done. You can also find games, old board games, cards, things like that to play. Keep yourself busy around the house for these next couple days. Maybe this backyard enrichment video will help you by giving you a little something to do. Uh, yesterday, we didn't spend much time outside. It was cold and kind of windy, so we did most of our activity indoors. Uh, last night, we did have a another, an encore sorry game. And once again, Mr. Silvera did not come out victorious. The winner of this particular sorry game, Mrs. Silvera. Well, we'll try again with uh, something else, perhaps tonight. So, for today's backyard enrichment video, um, I have a trail camera that I use in my backyard. Uh, it basically picks up motion and takes pictures of wildlife as it happens to pass by. I'm thinking for our backyard enrichment videos, we may find many times that we can use uh, some images from the backyard camera. So that's what we're going to do for today's video. We'll see what visitor we had last night uh, on the trails here in the woods behind Mr. Silvera's house. I'll show you a quick picture of the trail camera here. It kind of picks up motion, takes pictures of things that happened by. So let's take a look at something uh, that happened by last night. This is a skunk also known as a polecat. Black and white mammal found primarily in the Western Hemisphere that uses extremely well-developed scent glands to release a noxious odor in defense. The term skunk refers to more than just the well-known striped skunk. The skunk family is comprised of 11 species, nine of which are found in the Western Hemisphere. Primarily nocturnal, skunks are diverse carnivores that live in a wide variety of habitats, including deserts, forests, and mountains. Most are about the size of a house cat, but some are significantly smaller. The common striped skunk is found from central Canada, southward throughout the United States to northern Mexico. Its fur is typically black with a white V down the back. It has a white bar between the eyes. Skunk scent comes from glands located inside the rectum at the base of the tail. All carnivores have anal scent glands, but they are extremely well developed in skunk. Each of the two glands has a nipple associated with it, and skunks can aim the spray with a highly coordinated muscle control. When a skunk is being chased by a predator but cannot see it, the spray is emitted as an atomized cloud that the pursuer must run through. This usually is enough to deter most predators. When a skunk has a target to focus on, the spray is emitted as a stream directed at the predator's face. Although accurate to more than six feet, its total range is considerably farther. Striped skunks spend most of their time on the ground and are less agile than other skunks. Striped skunks are omnivorous, feeding on insects, small vertebrates, and eggs, as well as vegetable matter. Skunks remain solitary except during breeding season, though in colder climates, females may den together. After mating, the male is driven off and the female raises the litter of two to 12 offspring alone. Offspring are born from about the end of April through early June. Although you may not commonly see skunks, we have all smelled them. Okay, everybody. That is today's not-so-sweet-smelling backyard enrichment video number eight. I hope that this trail camera of mine provides lots of images that we can use for our backyard enrichment videos going forward. And by the way, uh, to keep you updated, 
the Mr. and Mrs. Cardinal did appear again at today's, uh, at the feeder this morning. And we're going to keep an eye on them every day and see how long they hang around. Maybe we can see their nest as time goes on um, and see some of the other things that they're up to. Okay, have a good day, everybody. Find something great to do indoors with the family. Uh, remember, we are all cardinals. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.